Our Back on Two stories are brought to you by Stevenson Klotz and the National Academy of Motorcycle Injury Lawyers. It's hot, like 100 degrees here in South Alabama, and there are storm clouds looming over all day, threatening to pour down on us, but that did not keep hundreds of people showing up to support a brother in need who was hit by a distracted driver earlier this year and lost one of his legs. Check it out. Hunter Walker or Dundee, you know, Capital Rosero. I was turning left, trying to, I was headed home, going to, from Dolphin Street, taking I-65 North to, uh, to Sarah Land where I live. And I got T-boned by a 17 year old girl with uh, a 16 year old, two 15 year olds in the car. It's one of those things where I had enough time to maybe raise my eyebrows before I got hit. I've never been hit so hard in my life, man. Like it just, you know, I can't quite explain how hard the hit was. I landed on her trunk and, you know, halfway in her back windshield. Oh, geez. And, you know, I realized my leg was broken because I was like, man, my leg's not supposed to be this far out. Like, you know, yeah. clearly my femur was broken and I was sitting there thinking, I was like, there's a lot of major arteries right here. And I was like, well, if I don't die in the next 10 minutes, I'll probably be fine. <laughs> they tried to save my leg. They spent like four hours, four and a half hours in surgery trying to, you know, get blood flow back to my foot. It just didn't take. The only mama knows how to live. You know, I'm, ad I'm adjusting as good as I can. You know, it's definitely a, it's definitely a big adjustment. You know, there's, you know, a lot of things that I knew were going to be different, but a lot of things I didn't realize that were going to be so different. When, like, you know, even like the most simple things, like going to the bathroom. <laughs> As far as me having any animosity towards the person who hit me, I don't. Take time out of your day to tell people that you love them. You know what I mean? They, you know, this, this my life changed in an instant. I'll have a leg again, you know, in a few months. And, you know, I'll, I don't think this is gonna stop me. You know, I'm gonna get right back on twos. You know, I'm, I'm, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, they're gonna, it's gonna have to kill me for me to stop riding. All right, we'll be continuing to follow Dundee's recovery right here on the Biker Dad blog and covering all of the motorcycle events here on the Gulf Coast. And if there's something going on in your part of the country that you want me to share, just hit me up at biker-dad.com or right here on the Biker Dad Facebook page. In Mobile, Alabama, this is Chris Best for the Biker Dad blog. This is Biker Dad. Biker Dad.